Hi. So it's the start of a new year and a lot of people are making resolutions, figuring out how to make themselves more productive, um, keep their goals, set their goals. Um, and maybe one of those resolutions is also just to keep a diary um, for various reasons. Um, I've been doing it for a long time. I think it's a great way to organize your life. Um, but one of the things I always hated about um, about diaries was that you have to basically get a new one every year and you end up with a, a box full of books that basically you have to take with you when you move house and you have to keep hidden in case somebody comes and and, and reads them if you've, if you've got some uh, juicy stuff in there. Um, so I've come up with a way I think to, to create a journal um, which helps you also with your goals and productivity um, which is secure and portable um, and, it's used, and it uses very simple um, kit. Basically all you need is a, um, an iPad. This is an iPad mini. I guess any iPad will do. Um, one of these, a Donut Jot Mini styluses, um, which I'm doing a giveaway, uh, more on that later. Um, and a great note-taking app called GoodNotes, which at the time um, that I bought it was very cheap. Um, the, the actual, I'm going to do a screen share in a second, and I'm going to show you exactly what the what the what the page looks like because I've designed it to incorporate lots of different things. Um, first of all, um, the a free form section where you can record your traditional diary notes, um, what's going on in your life, what happened on this day, how you were feeling, etc., etc. But also, I wanted to incorporate two really cutting edge tools for for setting. Um, productivity goals and for basically uh, creating positivity in your life and those two are called the the productivity planner and the five minute journal respectively um, they are as a bit of a disclaimer here they are uh, not designed by me they're designed by a, a company called intelligent change which is founded by Alex Icon and UJ Ramdas um, who are both fantastic guys very popular on the internet um, if you google them you'll see you probably know them already um, if you, you know, if you've come to this video um, and the great thing about these guys is they're they're very generous they're basically you know it's all about creating ideas using the internet to share those ideas um, adding value to people and um, basically spreading your art around um, and and that you know what I've done is basically take take those ideas um, find a solution that I think works for me which combines them all um, and then what I'm doing here is trying to share those out um, to you guys so maybe you maybe you like this format as well um, I'm not obviously making any money out of this um, I'm just doing it because this is something that I really you know, really stand by. Um, I think those guys have developed fantastic methodologies. Um, and I think for some people, the best thing is for them to buy the individual apps or the in individual books. But um, but just in case you find this this way works because it's kind of a one-stop shop, you've got it all there, it's all portable, it's all secure, then uh, maybe you'll like it. So um, without further ado, let's, let's have a quick look at, um, at the actual diary itself on the screen. Right, so we have the um, this app that I mentioned called GoodNotes. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much it is now, um, but it was certainly less than five pounds when I bought it. It's probably the best app that I've ever bought for my iPad. Um, so let's just open this up quickly, and we're going to see. Basically, this is not a GoodNotes tutorial. Basically, I can do one if you want me to do one. Leave a comment below. Um, if you're interested in, in general in, in, in writing uh, notes in your iPad, then this is, a, this is a great one, not just for diaries. So, um, I have a document called 2016 in GoodNotes, and basically I have created a, a page template. So, this is the empty template, and I'll just go through what it looks like. So, basically, um, the the template is a pre-saved image which I've basically created in GoodNotes and then exported it. Again, if you want me to send you this image, this template, so you want to use it, because that's kind of the whole point of the video, just basically leave a comment down below, um, give me your email address and I'll, I'll email it to you. Um, 
I've spent a while sort of figuring out how to lay this out properly. Um, I'm just going to go through the different sections in here, and then and then I'll show you an example of of, of it, an actual sort of filled out section that um, from two days ago. So it's pretty simple. Um, this is not going to take very long, but it is kind of awesome. Um, so you just fill in the date at the top left up here. So move the box up there. Today's date is the 16th of January, excuse my gorgeous handwriting. Um, and then up here, this will come to you later, um, goals met, cumulative. I mentioned that, that we're going to use this this kind of this journal to set yourself daily goals um, and, and then ideally keep track of how many days consecutively you've actually kept your goals. This is something I find quite motivating um, and you can set yourself little rewards if you sort of you know exceed say you know a month of, of meeting your goals every day so but that that's entirely up to you. So the first the first three things here three things I'm grateful for what would make today great and daily affirmations so I am such and such again as I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of the of the five minute journal um, they, these things come directly from that um, and basically these are things that you're supposed to do literally every morning you get up out of bed or in bed and you fill this in before you do anything else and basically the idea is that it gives you energy to basically you know hit the hit the the day with a with a positive frame of mind um, so you basically you know even if you're not feeling great write down three things you're feeling great grateful for um, what would make today great? So th these basically, it's this is my interpretation of this question in the five minute journal, which is basically these are this is where I write my goals for the day, right? So I might write here, for example. Um, so what would make today great would be uh, swimming fifty lengths, right? And then I put a, a little uh, underscore there because at the end of the day, when I reevaluate this, I'm going to write either a cross or a tick, depending on whether I actually achieve that. What else? Uh, swimming 50 lengths, um, walking to work might be another one, uh, you know, writing thank you cards, or something you've been pr procrastinating. These are sort of small goals that you say, you know, it would be great if I got these things done today, right? So that's that's that. Um, I'm grateful for. We can just put, um, you know, uh, nature, uh, my home. You get the idea, right? Daily affirmations. So basically, this is something that you say, you know, every day. You take literally, you know, half a minute to think. Right, you know, think of something positive about yourself, and just affirm it. So, so eventually, it's going to kind of sink in. This is all the theory, by the way. This is not. You know something that I came up with. This is this is out. This is based. This is well directly from the five minute journal. Um, let's say I am a strong and successful person, right? So those three things, as I said, are the five minute journal. Those are things you do first thing in the morning. Now the next five things are actually straight out of the productivity planner. The productivity planner, as I mentioned, is the is also something that's been developed by the by the guys at Intelligent Change. Um, what I've done is kind of amalgamate the content into kind of one thing that you're going to do when you get up in the morning. So this is basically about planning your day. Um, and I'm, again, I'm not going to go into the, the, the detail of, of how the productivity planner works, but if effectively you just, you just write out your main high priority tasks for the day right in here so this is this really you know if you want if you're more interested in the productivity planner go away watch the video on that um, that Alex Icon and, and, and UJ have put on there and it might, you might find that you want to basically you know get the app or buy the book because those, those are fantastic products as well but this is this is basically for people who just want it all in one place okay um, so you've got basically the same same content there so the target time you're expected to take on each of these tasks three pomodoros the actual time it took you four pomodoros and you know and then you've got 
you fill these in as you go along as you complete the task. Pomodoro's, if you're interested, is basically a uh, it's a it's a fixed time interval that you basically dedicate to getting your head down and 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 basically committing to a sprint of focused work on that task. And it's commonly 25 minutes and followed by a five minute break. Um, I don't believe it has to be that. But um, so the productivity planner again, it works in Pomodoro's, but if you want to know more about the Productivity Planner, please look up Productivity Planner. I'll I'll link it down below. Um, this is just this is this is basically how the the layout works. So then, the next one. So the next one is basically what you do at the end of the day, right? So the first half up to now has been what you do at the beginning of the day. This is basically right. You're sitting in bed. You know you're about to put the light off. Whatever happens, you basically write down three amazing things that happened today, even if it was the worst day in your life. So you basically just write them here, You because there has to be something that happened you know, on that day that you focus on the positive. Again, because you want to basically get your mind in a positive frame before you put your head in the pillow and fall asleep. This is again right out of the, the five minute journal. Um, and as is this, how could I have made today better? So a moment of reflection where you think, right, could I have done things differently today for, for a better outcome? Um, um, it's basically, you know, just to sort of hammer home, <coughs> excuse me, hammer home any lessons learned from the day. This is actually, so this is my own stuff. This is diverting away from um, from the productivity plan at five minute journal. This is more, um, from from this point onwards, this is more kind of the free form stuff. So I I am in the habit of of basically recording you some of you guys might find this a bit obsessive and that's fine but um, I like to record what I eat and what I drink um, on a daily basis um, we all have goals in terms of improving our diet maybe drinking less alcohol all these kind of things so I like to basically keep track of everything that I consume I also like to write down what I what I do every day in terms of exercise um, so that's entirely up to you I find it very useful um, and then the last section at the bottom is notes, and this is basically the the bit you know where I like to say, you know, dear diary, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm feeling great at the moment. Things are really going my way, or oh god, you know, things are going tough. Such and such happened. I got a visit from such and such. I got a phone call from such and such. This is basically where you would traditionally put the stuff that you would normally put in a diary, right? So so then you can go back over the course of a year and and read over it. And, and, and read the freeform notes about what was going on in your life at that time. Um, and that's basically that. So, and, and then you basically you know, swipe from one day to the next, you swipe across and then you've got your clean template for the next day. Um, the, so you can see, for example, this is what I've already filled out for today. Um, this is already filled out from yesterday. Um, now, the great thing about this, and I can do, if you want, if you're interested, just leave a comment below and I'll do um, a follow-up tutorial on how to store this securely. Because I did mention that, that basically, um, that this is a, a secure journal. And what that means is that it's going to be, and it's portable, so it has to be, I want to be able to read it on all my devices, blah, 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 on my iPhone, you know, MacBook, whatever, um, but it has to be secure, right? So th the technology I use for that is Box Crypto. Um, I've done a, a fairly in-depth video on Box Crypto about how it works. Um, uh, so basically what this app does, when you, when you reach the end of the year, you're going to have basically a good notes document, but what you need to do is export that as a, a PDF, right? So export, you would export all pages and you would export as PDF. Um, you set the name, file name there, um, you export to here, and then it's going to basically um, to ask you which of your cloud providers you want to export to. So I'm a Dropbox person, so I'm going to ex export to Dropbox. Um, once it's in Dropbox, I then use Boxcrypto to encrypt that file so that uh, nobody can see it. Um, and if you, again, if you want to, uh, to see how to actually um, encrypt the file in Boxcrypto and how all that side of it works, please leave a comment below and, and, and I'll do that. Um, I, I think it's a really good overall solution um, to, to basically make sure that nobody can ever, ever see your diaries. Um, I'm trying to get good notes to also password protect, um, password protect the actual app itself because until you export, then obviously somebody who gets hold of your iPad can see it. Um, so basically, um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be giving away uh, uh, two of these 
um, Adonit Jot Mini styluses. They're so cute, really. I mean, they're 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 amazing. They're really, they're really sort of robust little metal things, um, and I think they cost about twenty pounds roughly. But they, you can get a really fine point when you when you write. Um, I think it's a wonderful product. So I'm going to be giving away two of these. Um, basically, so all you need to do is um, to subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a thumbs up on this video and basically um, also uh, leave a thumbs up on the the box crypto video that I've uh, that I've just basically linked down below which I'll which I'll do um, and and then email me letting me know that you've actually installed box crypto um, and and you've linked it with with Dropbox um, the reason I'm saying that is because the box crypto side of things is something that I'm really excited about. Um, I, I'm trying to basically get all my friends and family to do it um, because um, it's kind of a no-brainer, and not many people know about it. The, the fact that you can, you know, keep your um, confidential materials uh, securely in the cloud—it's basically it's pretty much bulletproof, as bulletproof as any um, cryptographic uh, solution can be. Um, and I really want to get the message out. So, if you're interested, that's what you have to do. If you're not, if you're confused about what you have to do, um, just put a comment down below. Um, this is the first time I've done a, a giveaway, and it might be that I've made an absolute hash of it. But um, who cares? You can but try, right? So, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions at all, just put them down below. I am passionate about this. I do think that the the five minute journal, the productivity planner, are fantastic methodologies, and they it's great. To, you know, the books they've they've put out, individual books, is fantastic. Um, you can they, they've got apps for each of them again it's fantastic but if you want it all in one place I just thought I would share a way to basically get it all in one place and then this with my iPad you've got your journal with you wherever you go so again thank you for watching and uh, yeah enjoy <laughs>